Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So my YouTube channel basically is like exclusively uh, MSL. I feel like every single time I make a video that isn't related to MSL, I have to tell you guys like, hey, I didn't, I didn't quit the game. You know, I'm just like, I'm gonna make a video for MSL tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this game that I've been playing for the past two weeks, which is kind of why I've been slacking off a bit, like to be honest. Um, been really really hooked on this game just extremely addicted I mentioned it like three videos back someone asked me what game it was I told them it was a secret now this this from first glance looks very uh, very normal it looks like World of Warcraft but it actually isn't um, to, to the untrained eye it looks exactly like World of Warcraft but if you take a look at my skill bars a closer look at my skill bars for people anyone that has played World of Warcraft before you'll notice something's very very strange uh, <laughs> Basically, this is a private WoW server where you can choose um, skills from any class that you want and make basically make your own custom character. I, as you can see, I have druid skills, warrior skills, rogue skills, uh, warlock skills, <laughs> mage skills, you know, all in one. Um, but you can basically theorycraft and make a really, really um, unique character that nobody else really has and even if they follow like the same philosophy of your your build um, you know they'll never always have the same skills so they might not always have the same utility and stuff that you have so I thought this was really really cool because I really like theory crafting and making um, making builds and stuff like you know trying to trying to come up with strategies and stuff um, whenever I'm gaming and you know, this is this is basically like a theory crafter's paradise because I can show you I can show you a little bit about my build and you'll kind of understand why. So the philosophy of this build is it it follows a um, a build um, that that someone else made, but I made a few tweaks to it. So this is a build they they named the Flurry Bear, and it's basically a a bear that takes the druid's poisons, or not the druid's, uh, the rogue's poisons. So what, whenever you make an attack, you can proc poison. And then um, the reason why it's named the Flurry Bear is you have to use this very specific weapon called the Flurry Axe. And the Flurry Axe basically hits again. And every time you hit, you have a chance to um, put poison on them. And this is the poison that I've placed on this guy. Every time you see like that ye yellow damage uh, above the white damage, that's the poison procking. As a dirty blade stormer. Oh, this guy really wants it. Um, and basically, this is a farming spec, but it actually works decently well for PvP. So I, I'm doing a, a, a battleground with it right now. Um, but yeah, I, I basically use a lot of hits, and I try to proc the poisons, and I take talents from other classes that um, give me more hits. So there's there's this uh, talent from the Protection Paladin tree called Reckoning, which basically allows me to um, have a 10% every time I, I block or, or I'm hit. For my next four attacks, I'll do an extra hit. And then in Combat Rogue, there's also another one where um, if I dodge an attack, I'll hit them back. And this can also proc the poison as well. So basically it's like, I, I try to do as many hits as possible, and then that hit can proc the flurry axe hit, and then I can do three hits, and then I can proc the poison like three times or something like that. And that's basically the the philosophy of this build. I just want to do as many hits as possible and keep procking the poison on them. Um, so yeah, it's like you can do this with a lot of different classes, a lot of different ideas. Um, and sometimes you know when I, when I'm playing the game, I have like this. I, I'm doing something and then I, you know, or maybe I'm showering and I have a shower thought and I'm like, hey, I can do, you know, what if I uh, take all these talents that make, you know, my pet crit a lot and then every time he crits, I take a talent that every time he crits, I crit and then um, I, I try that out and then, you know, 90% of the time it fails. It's not, not as good as I imagined, but then I, I, uh, I retry something else. It's not too expensive to respec. It costs about 200 gold, which in the server is actually a lot easier to farm because the server has both um, increased drop rates and also has increased XP. So you can level really, really fast. In about like two days playtime, you can get to 60. So it's not, it's not too difficult. Um, and it's not that much of a time sink. 
I'm also playing on a server that's a little bit more casual. They have a hardcore server where if you die, you drop loot. Like, it's it's pretty insane. And there's, like, open PvP. Anyone can attack you. Even people from your same faction. They can just go and attack you. And then you'll just drop, drop your loot. And then they can take it and use it. Um, like, the, the gear that you have on you right now. Like, they, you can actually drop that. I'm playing on a normal server that doesn't have that. Um, so I've been just kind of leveling farming um, and then trying to get ready for for raids because we're we're gonna be doing raids very very soon um, this server is on a wrath of the lich king client it's a 3.3.5 client so it's like basically the last patch of wrath of the lich king but however the content is on is like stuck at or not stuck but they they limit it to level 60 so um, basically it's like a progression realm where it goes from 60 and then it goes through bc and then it goes through wrath of the lich king um, if Blizzard doesn't decide to shut it down. I think I should be able to get another insta queue for Arena, possibly. But yeah, that, that Arena is over. Um, so yeah, this... I, I was thinking um, some of you guys might want to wanna come join me, because I've been having quite a lot of fun playing this, and I think, I think a lot of you guys will too. It's... It's a lot easier, I think, than, than normal WoW, but it's also a lot more fun, a lot more um, less limiting, because if if they, you know, if they nerf something, or if they, uh, if something you planned doesn't work out, you don't like it, or if you're just bored or something, you can very easily switch and just become something totally different. Like, you can be a mage caster one second, and then uh, you can switch and be, be a like a, a bear or druid hybrid the next um you also have multiple specs in this so you can actually have four specs at a time because you can buy this with gold and yeah it's it's basically um just like the the different specs you would have in like retail wow that we have right now you can switch um to the to, to another spec and it could be totally different so i have one that i use for farming um one that i use for um raid i'm basically like a mage caster in in raids and i have another one that i made a while back for playing through uh for doing wars on gulch i call it the cancer cat because it's basically i run around in cat cat and travel form um in the druid forms and i just run really really fast and i just catch flags and i have every single escape every single cc from every single class um and i'm just super annoying so like you can never catch me i'm just running around um, I grab the flag and I run the flag from one side to the other. And if anyone tries to come and kill me, I just I like CC them and I just I just run. <laughs> it's uh it's it's pretty funny because I could have like five six guys on me and they like none of them can catch me. And I've been winning like 90% of my um, Warsaw Gulch games using that build. So yeah, that was uh. So yeah, that, this is this is pretty much it. Um, they do have another really really cool thing for. For ascension which is um which is the the random enchant system now it makes the loot very very similar to um i guess similar to, to diablo like every piece of loot can have a possibility to have a random enchant on it um these random enchants are usually based off talents but not always so for example i have a few pieces with random enchants um, this one's not really useful for me, but it basically increases the summon demon's critical strike chance equal to 20% of my critical strike chance. So if I have a demon, um, like one of the warlock demons, I can increase its crit rate um, by having this random enchant on me. And I have, I have high crit rate, and it, it would also have high crit rate. Um, this one reduces the rapid fire cooldown, and then... Um, this one's like mana shield. This one reduces shape shifting cost, so which is good for me. So every piece of gear can have um, these random enchants that are based off of off of the talents in in these um, talent trees of, of every single class. Um, some of the random enchants are also based off of trinkets. Sometimes some some trinkets usually have like some sort of special effect, and they're based off. Some random enchants are based off of that. So I actually have one where basically if I dodge. Um, I create a spell shield that absorbs like magical damage. So if I have high dodge chance, 
which w it would make me strong against melee because I could just dodge their attacks. But I can also, um, through dodging their attacks, I can have a spell shield, and it can make me like really, really tanky against magical attack as well. Um, so yeah, that's it's kind of what I've been doing, what I've been uh, fucking around on for the past little while. And my plans for this is, I'm, I'm not planning to go like really hard and you know like just make a bunch of videos or content for this. Um, I want to kind of, well, the the main main goal. <laughs> Or the main purpose that I'm making this video is I I was hoping um, people could come play with me because it it's it would be really really fun if I can get a lot of people like online playing together and stuff. We can join our guild. Um, we're gonna be raiding and then we can eventually make like a 25 man raid if um, people are like serious and wanna actually do wanna play. Um, but I wanted to make a leveling guide probably um, very very soon. It will probably be my first video that is related to this game, it'll be a leveling guide because the leveling on this server is a little bit different from even in Wrath of the Lich King because the, the quest XP is doubled so you want to skip through a lot of like inefficient quests and do the, the ones that get you a lot, lot more XP instead and um, I'll also be using a, a custom leveling spec that is really efficient in leveling. Um, it's going to be based off of a hunter spec. It's a spec I actually used to raise from 1 to 60 on this character, but um, now that I'm a lot more experienced and I have, I basically have the knowledge of like every single talent on every single tree, I can make a lot more, uh, a, a much more effective build. Um, and you know, with a few tweaks based on like playstyle as well. So. I was thinking of making a leveling guide very soon. Um, what I'm also, what I also want to do is I, I'll make a second character, and I'll level from one to sixty on that character, and I'll either record or stream the whole entire process, and I'll be able to use that as like footage to make a leveling guide, uh, and probably make like a different part series because people probably aren't leveling that fast. So I can basically go from one to twenty, twenty to forty, and then forty to sixty or something like that. Um, I might need to split 50 to 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 up because 50 to 60 is actually a lot longer. Like 50 to 60 is probably the equivalent of like 20 to 50, I think. Um, but anyways, I'll. I think um, a really cool way I could make content for this game is like because I'm I'm always trying out new builds. I can make like. I can make like a build video like on on a custom build that I made um, on the server and usually they turn out pretty well like the the one the cancer cat one it uh, it's like it was it's basically like nearly unbeatable in, in Warsong Gulch I haven't like I haven't even thought of a counter to it it's it's you can't counter it one, with one person but if you have like a team of like um, a, a team of like coordinated people you can counter it but it's still very, very difficult. So that's why I've been winning like 90% of my games. Um, this one is this one is not that uh, not that special because it's based off of a build from somebody else. I only tweaked a few skills basically to make it as efficient as possible for farming um, specific things that I want to farm. Ooh, that hunter just wrecked me. I think we're getting wrecked. Are we getting wrecked? Yes, we are getting wrecked. Okay, I've been uh, I've been messing around too hard. But anyways, that is that is pretty much it. Um, I'll include a link in the description if you want to want to uh, play with me. Um, if you want to play on the server with me, I the server I'm on is called Scenarius. Um, they have a few different servers. They have a low risk, high risk one. I think they have two low low risk ones, one high risk one. Um, the one I'm on is called Scenarius, and it's a low risk server, so you don't drop loot when you die. Because if you're on the high risk server, the moment you leave a main city, you just get ganked, and they just take your loot, um, <laughs> which could be fun if you're if you're into that. So you could definitely do that as well if you're if you're interested in doing that. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Um, I'll have the link below, and I will. Uh, probably get on working on like leveling a second character it should it shouldn't take too long it should only take 
less than two days playtime, maybe one and a half, like less than one and a half, because this time I'm a lot more knowledgeable, so I'll be able to level a lot faster. Um, but that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.